Hello, creative people. Today I wanted to show you what it looks like to take all of this and transfer it to our new base that we built. I hope you liked the last video with the speed build. Today we're going to do a speed travel. And this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. They love me. They love me so much they won't let me walk. Let me walk, fools. Let me walk. Why? It's like I'm Simba in the circle of life. All right, we got loose. Yeah, this is a <laughs> this is a mess. What in the world? Everything is nuts. We got an egg. Yums. This is just dumb. Dude. I don't even know why I'm looking for eggs. I'm not going to be able to get to them. It's like a mosh pit. Jump. Jump. Oh, Birdie's still trying to follow me. Stop it. I don't like the ride thing. Like you, most of the dinosaurs, you can just look at their face and. Oh, let's try this again. Round two. Oh, Hawk got out. And I gotta destroy these spikes, or everybody's probably gonna be dumb and walk into them. I want to repair it. We're destroying it. Uh, I think that should be good. All right, let's move the bear back up. Round three, fight. This should be interesting to see. Oh, sharp tooth. <laughs> Baby maker, third place. Uh, the, why? That's funny. Baby Maker and Baby Monitor. And a turtle? A raptor? I think that's like sixth place? You guys are so dumb. Alright, let's just dismol dis dismolish to this. Dis demolish. <laughs> Oh, another turtle got through. Oh, no, that's an Inky. And a turtle. <gasps> yes. Oh, my goodness. Triceratops are dumb. They're all stuck in Iggy. E.T., what are you doing? Man. I had to, like, destroy the whole base to let all these guys out. It's like a bunch of linebackers. There's like five of them right in a row, and they're all locked in on shoulders, and it's like, you guys are going nowhere. One of you take a step back. Let the other ones go first. I guess I'll have to do it for them. All right, there we go. Oh, there, even the dung beetle. I'm going to be surprised if all of this stuff makes it. Let's move out a little bit. Make sure we got everybody. I have some of these guys on low. Oh, no. A couple of you are still lagging. Alright. Packies. Eggies. Moshops. I think that's everybody. All we left. Oh, yeah. Even the dodo made it. Wow. It's so empty. I'm gonna miss you home. Uh, 
Thank you. It's like getting annoying just listening to all of them run in place. And the base para just wants to sit there. So. Just because we leave doesn't mean we're going to leave this place destroyed. We're going to build it back up. To its full glory. This was a fun home. Like, I like this little outer perimeter wall, and it did good. It was a good, it was a good starter at home. I need a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna run over here and kill this tree. Hopefully nothing comes around the corner and tries to eat me. That would be bad. I'm just like running around trying to build a door and it's like, mmm, food. Chibi's up there chilling on the rock. I think a, a cool effect they would, could do as you play this game longer and longer and increase your weight and melee maybe and movement speed if your body changed so it's like when you first showed up on the arc like you were a decent build but then over time as you played it more you just got more and more and more jacked and bigger and bigger and bigger That'd be kind of funny. Like, you just started out like a normal... Like, you, you wouldn't be... Like, during your setup, you wouldn't be able to make, like, your dude look jacked. Like, you, you would just start out at, the, like, a normal... Physical, like, athletic fit. But then, as you played the game, you would just get jacked. From all the hacking resources... Um, figured I put the the spikes back up over here once we get everybody out of the way just to make sure nothing comes in and attacks the base usually your wild dinosaurs oh my gosh this is gonna be a mess uh, it's all the names you can't even read them but usually wild dinosaurs they won't attack a empty base or walls it's like the only thing they would really attack would be like I'm about to put these spikes down and if they bump into them then they'll they'll try to uh, to destroy them and he had turned this dude's alert settings off or he's not gonna do anything disable turret there we go and he's off but yeah um, if they bump into the spikes, they'll attack those. But most dinosaurs won't just... If they I see an empty base, they're going to go attack it. They just... They just don't. We're going to put everybody on neutral. And then I'm going to go... <laughs> the Mets... <laughs> Hey, Iggy. And then Hawks is like, I'll protect you guys all. I'm on the watch. I don't see any bad people. Alright, we're clear. Alright, I'm gonna go build these spikes. Oh my gosh. I've never tried to move this many dinosaurs in my life. Usually I would just like fill up a food trough and just leave the old dinosaurs at the old base and just take what you need or at that point like usually you would have a, a decent high level RG so then you would just every time I would start a new base I would just um just tame all new resource dinosaurs but at that point get like high level resource dinosaurs Yeah, we'll 
slap this down like so and then we're good all right all i think from this point forward we're gonna go into high speed travel mode we got everybody so let the journey begin So at this point, we got everybody to the base. And we're gonna organize everybody. I hope you guys like this episode. As always, hit that like button. Next episode, we're gonna do the base revealing. We'll show how everybody's organized, everybody's new home, how this is all gonna work out. As always, my name's Josh. Keep creating the future. Bye.